Britain. Nice ride, dude. Hey, guy. Let's do this. Check this out. I brought fun mounts. Yeah. Oh, a hat mount. I was wondering why you were wearing a hat. So right now we are at our launch site. Brent's going to stash his paddleboard here. I think it's pretty hidden, huh? You're good. You pretty hidden. On the road. Yeah, so this is our launch point. This is where we ended our first trip when we went to from Gray's Bay to Hopkins. So we're gonna do the second leg today, which is gonna be from here to just south of Lake Harriet, hopefully. But the cubic feet per second is pretty low. I think it's at about 65 cubic feet per second. And they recommend to have about 70 to 150. The creek is not moving very fast, which is kind of nice. We don't get all stressed out. Because last time it was at like 250 and we were pretty stressed out going down the rapids. But we might have to get out and walk. Paddleboard's ready to go. Got everything loaded up. Paddleboard ready to go. Britain got me another paddleboard clip. Britain's got his nice GoPro mount. We're gonna have some fun. Oh yeah. So it's about a I think yeah, a 10 mile excursion. The clouds kind of broke away here. We we're at launch. The river's about a foot deep. So if it's a foot deep for the whole way, we're gonna be looking pretty good. We got Britain back there. Let's have some fun. Found some grapes right off the vine here. They're actually really good. So there's Excelsior Boulevard. Britain's looking for golf balls in the water because it turns out there's a golf course up here. Right around here, there's a golf cart path. There's a hole right over here. But we haven't had to um, walk in a while because it's been pretty deep lately, so that's been nice. Less walking, the better. The faster we can get down the river. Brent, how many golf balls you got? Like 20. 20 golf balls? That's a ton of golf balls. This is like 150. <laughs> We're going to get a backpack full of golf balls here. It's like 30 in there. We've been here for like 20 seconds. You keep seeing them, huh? Yep. I think the only way I can find them is if I, se if I step on them. Oh, this one's, this one's yellow. Here's one. Oh yeah, that's a golf ball. Another yellow one. Here's a golf ball. Pretty sweet. We're just out here getting so many golf balls. Found one right here. This whole pit is full of freaking golf balls. I found five. Bryn's probably got like 30, which is insane. But Bryn has polarized sunglasses, which helps this situation. There's a golf cart. Cool.
creek is pretty wide right here and that's because in about half a mile it's gonna be dammed up here pretty soon so hopefully after that dam it's not gonna be too narrow we might have to do some more walking after that but we're just taking in the views of these cool houses oh yeah and there's Britain up there having some fun so as you can see there's a drop off coming up it's all dammed up right here it's supposed to be waterfall so Britain's getting pretty close a little close for comfort just out here exploring there's a dam right over here Britain's gonna go check it out get some footage in here Checking it out. There's some nice houses over here, up on the dam. But oh, you're swimming. dammed up here in Edina. So just having a little bit of a snack here at the Blumgren Delicious Apple. We went five miles, 4.8 miles. Oh. We have four miles left. So hopefully it passes dam, there'll be enough flow. That's what we're kind of worried about, the flow rate. We might have to do a lot of walking this last four miles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> fishing having some fun some nice homes here catch a fish grit hey Brian yeah. do you think we're invited to this fancy dinner right here Brian got a fish Nice. You're right through the top. I just wanted to cut my line. I Dang. like this whopper clapper. Using cloppers in rivers is not a good idea. Why? Catches too many fish. My scratch is just rubbed right off. These got hit pretty hard, but they're still really resilient.